Happy evening, July 2nd, Thursday, 2020, to God be the glory. So I'm flying solo tonight, and we are in the sixth chapter of Jose, and it has something to do with, to me, uh, the events from earlier in the afternoon. I don't know if you have been keeping up with uh, the capture of the coordinator of <clears throat> that billionaire sex trafficker, you know, Jeffrey Epstein, who was connected to so many celebrities, uh, luring underage girls as young as 16 to become part of his whole sex ring. And we're talking about people like, as you know, Prince Andrew, allegedly, and Bill Clinton, allegedly, and you saw pictures of you all's president, mm -hmm, Kevin Spacey, and so many others. I'm telling you, but the person who coordinated, who marketed, who recruited all these females and, and flew them around the world and coordinated the, the private jet rides to meet up with these celebrities, uh, that Ghislaine Maxwell, well, you know that they uh, finally found her and uh, brought her uh, in front of the judge. And yeah, she is locked up tonight. She was in New Hampshire and is sprawling mansion and you know she had a history you know with her father as far as how he cheated so many people millions of dollars in pensions and how he turned up mysteriously floating in some lake or ocean somewhere but it's a really sad situation what does this have to do with Jose 6 so that we can guard ourselves from crazy schemes from money making uh, operations that are not founded by God but founded by the enemy to really secure our steps we know that God wants our whole entire heart it says in chapter 6 of verse 6 for I desired mercy and not sacrifice I don't want your gifts the Lord is saying and the knowledge of God. I want you to get to know me than burnt offerings. I want your whole heart pretty much. You can be a, a philanthropist like Jeffrey Epstein. He was giving money to Harvard mm -hmm, and doing all these meritorious efforts. But if your heart is not aligned with God, it means nothing at the end. And you know he hung himself last summer. Well, that name, Ghislaine, the lady who was captured today, it reminds me of verse 8, the name Gilead, Ghislaine, because she has this strange pronunciation. But it says, Gilead is a city of them that work iniquity, wrongdoing displeasing the Lord, and is polluted with blood. And as troops of robbers wait for a man, she was waiting. She was lurking. She was, she was seeing what a uh, young lady could she, you know, uh, connect with and, and say, oh, you need money? Oh, yeah, we can, you know, pay your tuition here. But then they didn't know that at the end, there was so much horrible things and lewdness, the committing of that. And that's in verse 9. Just making a comparison. So what are we to learn from this? Well, in Proverbs 2, because today is the 2nd of July, the way to protect ourselves from these type of situations is to make sure discretion will preserve us, that it's deep into our soul. Understanding shall keep us. When wisdom enters our heart and knowledge, we love to obtain it, then that will deliver us from the evil man or the evil woman out here speaking slick things. Mm -mm. The Lord will say, be careful about her, be careful about him. And he will show us who lead the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. And we know that they did that and so much more is to come. But the path of the justice is a shining light, shining more and more into the perfect day. Okay, enjoy the promises of the Lord.